Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, what's up? I'm Linda Nicole. If you're returning, thank you so, so much. Today's video is going to be the follow-up to my most recent video, which I hope you've already seen, but it is my shop with me at TJ Maxx. I am going to say I am very new at doing a shop with me style video, so it wasn't the best, most creative and, you know, the quality wasn't it, what I had envisioned in my mind when I got to editing it, but I sure hope that you guys did enjoy that video. So if you want to see me do it some more, you know, more shop with me so when I go different places, let me know and obviously practice makes perfect. So if you haven't seen that video yet, I will link it down below. Make sure you go watch that first and then come back to this video. Also, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos. Ring the little notification bell so you are actually notified every time I upload any of my videos. And don't forget we are really, really close to starting the entry date for the upcoming giveaway. And without further ado, let's get started. So a few things I bought I am not going to show you guys yet because they are in the giveaway box but everything that I bought for myself to keep I'm going to show you. So I did buy something about two days ago and I thought it was a perfume by Kate Spade and this is a story because I went back to return it and thankfully they were nice enough to let me actually return it since I hadn't opened it and actually used it. It ended up being a body lotion and it was a great smell but I'm allergic to scented body lotions and I have very sensitive skin and I'll get a rash so I just can't use them. So with that being said I went through the cosmetic aisle again at TJ Maxx browsing and they had quite a few new things there tonight. I wanted a lot of them but I decided to only get what I could afford from the money that I was given back from the purchase that I returned. So I bought two more things tonight, so I'm going to start with those. The first one I'm super excited about because I've been looking these, looking for these for a while. I finally found a pack of the Shish Shiseido Facial Cottons. So it's this pack right here, and they're, they're pretty small, but... I got it for $3.99. It comes with, I want to say 60 cotton pads. No, 40. It only comes with 40. But I've heard people say that they cut these in half to use them. So maybe I'll do that to kind of like double up because let's be real, a regular cotton square is like about that big and you don't use, you know, but a few little drops of your toner on a pad like this or your micellar water whatever you're using it for but I really was trying to find these for the longest time and I I'm so happy I finally finally found some so this was tonight's purchase along with a, an actual perfume now I can't really tell who makes this but it's called whatever it takes and it says the artwork was donated by Kesha. So there is a very nice picture of Kesha on the front of the box there. And basically it um, says certificate of authenticity. The product reproduces the original artwork donated to 21st century leaders by Kesha. Um, so basically it says that they are um, helping fight the AIDS epidemic in the world and I believe money from sales of certain products like this for example were going to that cause so hopefully even though I bought it at a store where it probably was put in its you know second home I um, hopefully helped with that but this is the bottle it looks very uh, festive for this time of year because it actually looks kind of like a little pumpkin with like a witch's hat on top of it. The tag has a really cute little heart design there. On the back it says whatever it takes artwork donated by Kesha. So oh my gosh the scent. 
It's heavenly. I, I've been surprising myself with buying perfumes that I don't know what, you know, the scent even is and just kind of winging it. There's a few I've stayed away from because I've smelled once or twice and I'm like, mm, not for me. It's a little bit too mature smelling or a little bit too earthy smelling. I've definitely, definitely been happy with the last few fragrance purchases I've made. I definitely think I like something a little bit more edgy. I did get quite a few skincare things. So next up from Ole Henriksen, I found the Power Bright, I guess it's a facial system, care system. Uh, it looks like this. And when you open it up, you get six of these packs right here. And there's three steps. For, so the first step is a facial polish. The second one is a brightening solution and the third step is a melting cleanser so I'm kind of like I don't know I'm wondering why you would use a melting cleanser last but I'm gonna try it out and if I don't feel like it's like the right order for my skin then I'll just kind of like do it a little bit differently but um, I did find the two-in-one polishing sugar mask tonight as well and I really wanted to get it but I decided to pass on that and I will definitely because I knew I had some trial packs in here so I wanted to see if it was worth it and then it comes with these two little facial sponges with it so that you can you know use those to wet and rinse off the you know very end result because it's the last step you do rinse the I guess serum or cleansing gel off or what have you so I'm excited to try that up next I found the glam glow galactic cleanse hydrating jelly balm cleanser this is what the packaging looks like I'm sure all of it's upside down all of you guys have probably seen this by now I have used this once or twice now and I will be honest, to me using it, it has smelled like, okay, I can't, I can't get the top all the way off, but once it's wet and lathering on your face, it smells like licorice. I did pay $15.99 for this, so what should I pay for the old Henriksen? A product I forgot to mention $14.99 for this so I, don't, I think it was a little bit expensive but I love Ole Henriksen and I definitely really wanted to try that product out but for $15.99 I definitely have been loving this it's black and glittery and it's a balm and you then you put on dry skin I love those types of cleansers because they just deep clean to me and I love being able to rub it over right over my eyes without suds getting in them and like burning my eyes up I love the it. the next product I got is from Cora's I think it's pronounced Cora's uh, it is the wild rose smoothie it is the brightening priming moisturizer. So it is supposed to be the last step to your skincare is to moisturize and prime the skin. I got this for $14.99 and the bottle looks like this. So it's just like a, like a light little lotion-y cream. The only complaint I have about it is the smell. It smells almost like rotten roses. So the it's not very pleasant to me I know this is a Greek based brand so maybe there are some ingredients in it that I, I don't know um, it doesn't say exactly when it expires there's no year for it but it does say it, it contains wild rose so maybe that's the difference because it's wild rose I, 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 I don't I, I don't know Okay, next up on clearance for $3, I found the Bosca Charcoal Deodorant, which I did try out once or twice at this point because I was very curious about natural deodorants. It comes in a can like this, and the coolest thing, 
look. It sprays out like a little powder. And it smells very, very fresh. I thought that it would feel weird because I wouldn't have that like slippery feeling you have when you put your deodorant on. That in my mouth. But it actually was great all day long. I was very impressed by it. I really enjoyed it and I'm gonna keep using it. I definitely am ready to just make this an everyday thing and I'm gonna keep using it. One more product from the same Chorus company. I found a pack of their facial wipes. These are the Greek yogurt cleansing and makeup removing wipes. I have used one of them so far just to kind of test them out. They are not as extremely saturated as I would want them to be, but they're very large. They're almost like one and a half sizes double of your average cleansing cloth, double the size of some of the smaller ones. I did get these for $3.99 and it comes with 25 wipes. So I'm definitely going to keep using these. I always love trying out new wipes. Obviously the Neutrogena ones are still my top favorite, but I'm still going to just keep trying. And of course, along with wipes, I found um, another pack right here from First Day Beauty, the Gentle Cleansing Wipes. It says it removes stubborn makeup and impurities, safe for sensitive skin, alcohol, and fragrance free. I have not tried these ones yet, but I also got these for $3.99. They look like this. The basic blue packaging with the First Aid Beauty logo down here at the bottom. I'm going to probably try these next just to see if I like them a little bit better. And I definitely want to get through all of my good makeup wipes before they start to dry out. The next product I want to show you guys, I know a lot of you guys have been seeing at Marshalls and TJ Maxx lately, and I saw it, and I couldn't find my exact color, but I wanted to try it bad enough that I just went ahead and got, well, you'll see. So here is the Born This Way Foundation, which I got for $8.99 because they put the sticker right there so you can see it. Um, it is in the shade light medium. So it is about the same color as my skin tone. I'm actually wearing it as foundation today. I just put it everywhere and I think that's probably what I'll keep doing because I know that I'm probably never going to be dark enough to where this can highlight and brighten my under eye area. That's it right there on the, on the back of my hand. Um, so it's about pretty close to my actual skin tone. So I could definitely use it to like spot conceal or on day where I really don't want to wear makeup and just touch up little areas, blend it in. It would probably work great for that. And I like it. It's a very thin consistency I'm noticing, but it worked good as using it for an all over foundation. So maybe if you can find this in a shade that's too dark, you could use it for contour or if you find it in a shade that is your skin tone, you could use it for exactly what I'm using it for, for like a foundation. Next up, I found a large size of the Laura Geller Spackle Treatment. It says supercharged, so I don't know what that difference is between The regular spackle and the supercharged. I got this for $3.99, so I could not pass it up. It is a like jelly but cream colored product. You can see it right there on the back of my hand. I do see on the back of the packaging where it says it has age fighting ingredients in it, so maybe that is the whole difference between the regular spackle and the supercharged spackle. Uh, if somebody knows for sure, uh, please leave a comment. But it just says apply to clean skin, follow with makeup, or wear alone. So it seems like it's skincare and primer in one, I guess you could say. So I do have, you know, obviously two new primers to try out now. 
Um, another from Laura Geller. I found the Baked Gelato Swirl Illuminator in the shade Pixie Pearl. It says on the front it retails for $36. Right there, you can see the original price tag right there. But I got it for $5.99. And it's a beautiful, it is a light pinkish color. I do have one that's very similar to this, but it's a little more pink. This one seems like it has like a little bit of a silver reflect. So we're going to swatch it together. Oh, that's pretty. It's super pretty. Oh yeah, it's like a pinky silver color. You see that? That's so, so pretty. I have not used this yet, so maybe we'll save this for a full face of first impressions or TJ Maxx and Marshalls makeup. I got another highlighter from Too Faced. This is the Love Light Prismatic Highlighter in the shade You Light Up My Life. This is what the packaging looks like. It's super bright and reflective. And I got it for $12.99. It's a very beautiful color. I love the little compact. It looks like a little Polly Pocket toy from from my childhood days. If you're too young to know what Polly Pocket is, I'm sorry you missed out on a great childhood toy. Oh, there's still a little sticker on here from the mirror cover up. I think that's what that is. Okay, so I'm gonna swatch this for you guys you can see the imprint on it it's a very nice gold toned highlighter I'll swatch it right under the other highlighter so we can come them it's very nice and gold tone this definitely will work for darker skin tones that are definitely darker than mine medium skin tones as well but even with my lighter complexion I did try it on a little bit briefly just kind of playing around with it and it worked really, really well. So I'm definitely excited to keep using this some more. And, you know, I will definitely give you guys more thoughts on this once I do get a few wears out of it. So I got some hair products. I do have one thing I need to grab to show you guys. Um, but I found from IGK the Insta Famous Blonde Shampoo and Conditioner. So I'm going to show you these together just because, of course, they are, you know, a set. I got them for $9.99 each. It says compare at $20, but I looked these up and they were on sale for like $23 or $25 on their website. Um, they're both purple shampoos and conditioners because they're toning shampoos and conditioners, of course, so they're going to brighten and tone the hair up. But they smell really, really, really good. I did use both of these once already, and I'm I'm excited to keep using them just because I want to see if it really gives me a better toned blonde hair because obviously every shampoo is different, and these are a more expensive brand than a lot of the other stuff that you can find, and I just want to see if it's worth it or not. So they're small bottles. I'm sure I'll run through these pretty quickly. So by the time they get to my empties video, then you guys will know how I felt about them. Up at next from IGK as well, I found the Prenup Instant Spray Hair Mask. And I got this for $12.99. I did use this the same day I used those shampoo and conditioner duos or duo. It's not two sets I guess you could say and it sprays out like I thought it was gonna spray out like a foam but you spray it on your hair when it's damp like you shampoo your hair I did shampoo regular condition and then I used the deep conditioner mask because I still wanted to use the toning conditioner as well just to tone it a little bit more but it sprays out like a liquidy water so it's like I don't know it's just kind of awkward does smell really good and I think it made my hair feel really soft but I'll definitely have to use this a few more times to see if I think it's worth it or not. The last hair care product, well not the last hair care product but the last actual treatment per se is from 
the sexy hairline it's from the smooth sexy hairline it is the smooth extender um, basically it is a coconut oil mask and I got it on clearance for six dollars and it's a huge tub this is cheaper than what I could get it at the beauty supply store um, it does still have the protective covering over it but it smells amazing like all of the products do so I'm gonna use this deep conditioner next oh my god it's heavenly it doesn't even smell like really like coconut oil it smells like like a I don't know almost like a hibiscus flower mixed with some coconut it smells tropically but very light and clean at the same time so I have not used this yet I will definitely you know keep you guys updated on how I'm having a heck of a time with this I will definitely keep you guys updated on what I think of this I love a lot of the sexy hair products from all of their lines that they have they have you know the big sexy hair sleek sexy hair healthy sexy hair um, short sexy hair they have so many different variations of the sexy hair line so um, I've used a lot of them and I like most everything that I've tried another product I'm really curious to try out and use I found for $10.99 the Becca soft light blurring powder in pink haze so yes it is a pink setting powder it looks like this it is a big thick square jar um, and the powder is pink I did Ooh, it's everywhere I did take the plastic covering off of it to kind of swatch it but as you can see like it's it's pink it's very 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 pink so I'm definitely gonna have to use this in a video for you guys to, to show you what it looks like I'm a little worried it may cause my face to turn pink but I know it's supposed to be like a brightening effect it definitely gives me like the Fenty what is it called the pro filter setting powder definitely gives me those vibes if I have the name correct but yeah I'm excited to to try it out and see how it brightens and illuminates my beautiful skin so the last hair care product I'm going to show you guys is a microfiber hair wrap from Sleeky I got it on sale for $4.99 and I've never heard of this brand before and you'll see in my shop with Mamie looking kind of through the pile of all the different colors they had so I decided because it says right here you know sleekyhair.com and it's s-l-e-e-k-e hair.com if you want to go check it out and see about these hair towels I love it so far I used it once I'm already gonna spoil it I love it I checked out the website and these were $20 a piece $20 hair towels and I was like what I love the cute little bag it's like a plastic like Ziploc bag so this would be great for like traveling with you so you don't get it dirty it has a little like rubber toggle thing here that you flip open and it is a very big towel my hair is pretty short right now I know this is an extremely short for some people but right now this is short hair for me and I had a lot of extra room in the hair towel and I went with this color just because I loved the coral color but it's definitely going to be great for long long hair and it does have a button with a elastic fastener so you put it around your head and fasten it like this or you would really twist it up and fasten it like this so it kind of your head's here and your hair is here kind of thing so that's definitely something that I love I'm happy I got I actually kind of like it more than my turby twist so if I see more I'm grabbing more 100% for sure one more item I grabbed and I really wasn't really sure about this at first when I saw it because it was just like a random thing I haven't heard of this brand really too much but it's from Coop and Daisy it is the morning dew makeup setting spray and it is supposed to be a dewy finish I don't know if you can see that really really well but I love the color of the bottle 
um, I can't remember what it smells like. It has a very fresh, clean, almost cucumbery-like scent. It says a hydrating weightless mist that provides a radiant dewy finish, seamlessly blends your products together for a picture-perfect look. Always dewy, never oily. So, um, yeah. It says it's formulated with rose extract. Maybe that's what I'm smelling. And vitamin B5. This dewy mist is perfect for restoring moisture and setting makeup for an all-day look. I'm sure you could probably, because of the rose extraction and vitamins that are in here, you could probably just use this as like a setting mist or like, you know, a refreshing facial mist without any makeup, you know. But... I did try this out once just to kind of see, you know, if it locked my makeup longer, but I didn't pay attention to it because I just, I just didn't. But, um, I'm excited to continue to use this and I love that it's a glass jar. I can't remember how the sprayer was. Let's see. It's nice and fine. The scent, it doesn't necessarily... It doesn't smell like rose to me. It doesn't necessarily smell like rose to me. It smells like, I don't know what, what it smells like to me, but I, I just can't, I can't put my tongue on it. Okay, another exciting product. I found the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Glow Highlighter in the shade Perla. So this is what the packaging looks like. And I have been told these are really great products. I got this on sale for $5.99. I'm going to swatch it for you guys. I did kind of look and look at this of course to see what color it is. So this is the, you know, the packaging of the tube. So it is a liquid highlighter. I have never been big into liquid highlighters, but I've heard these ones are really, really amazing. So I figured, you know, let's give it a shot. And I know for liquid highlighters, like, they can definitely be used on the body. But that is it blended out right there on my hand. You can see how luminous it is. It's definitely a golden champagne undertone. But it blurs out to be like a wet, just shimmery, perfection type of highlighter. So I'm super excited to actually use this on my cheeks and then I can put on the collarbone and the shoulders. I know summer's almost over but I'm still going to try to get some glow time in when I can. Only two more products left. I found the makeup eraser sponge but it has a unicorn print. I actually haven't opened this yet. How much did I get this for? I want to say it's $7.99 maybe, $7.99, but yeah, it looks like this in the outer packaging, but let's open it up together so we can see what it actually looks like. Okay, it's all packaged up. I'm probably going to get it dirty, but it's in a makeup eraser sponge, and I know you're supposed to wash them before you use them. This is huge. Yeah, it says wash. Prior to first use, washing instructions on the tag, wet prior portion of makeup eraser drenched wet use warm water gently rub off makeup in a circular motion then flip eraser alongside with mute tag to exfoliate okay so apparently one side is exfoliating and one side is not but as you can see in the back through the bag the unicorns on it let's see if I can flip okay so one side the side with the tag is like an exfoliating side it says I don't feel like they feel any different. I do have like a knockoff version of these and I do have the makeup eraser like little finger like you put them on your fingers and then you like you rub them like around your eye area which I've used that before but it feels super soft. It's a lot longer than I thought it would be. Uh, so that's that's exciting. It's super cute. Last but not least I found another Glam Glow cleanser. This is the Super Cleanse Clearing Cream to Foam cleanser so it's like a black charcoal okay this is the one that smells like licorice I'm sorry it's not the other one it's this one it smells just like licorice to me um so I got this for 
I picked up two, one for me and one for whoever is my giveaway winner, of course, along with a ton of other products. Um, but I did try this. It says oil fi fighting, mattifying, and clarifying. I definitely don't need a whole lot of oil fighting or mattifying, but I do need a really deep, good cleanse because I do get very clogged pores. So I liked that there was a small sample size of this because I didn't want to waste my money on something that was just going to mattify and sh overly strip my skin. I did use it once. Um, it says it basically is supposed to go from like a, it, it's like this frothy, basically like looks like a basic jelly cleanser and then when you put a little water into it it turns into a nice frothy foam and that was really really nice so I did like this quite a bit um, it's nice and I hope whoever wins my giveaway loves it too it also says it's pore refining which um, I hope that's true because I'm definitely going to keep using it okay guys those were all my TJ Maxx finds make sure you check out my shop with me video if you haven't already I will leave it linked down below so don't forget to make sure you watch both videos make sure you watch that one first then come back to this even if you watch this one first it's okay too. just watch both that's all I care about right no I'm just kidding but I really want you to see how much fun I had in the store shopping and all the cool things that I found so um, the announcement for the opening day of the giveaway will be coming up soon I am going to be posting that video probably shortly after this one goes up I will have the opening for the entries open for a month so you have a full month to view the announcement video follow the rules to enter to win and you know just wait to see if you are that winner that's picked so make sure you subscribe to get your friends to subscribe and um yeah we'll be doing a giveaway soon uh with that being said uh i love you guys so much thank you so much for watching and i will see you on the next one bye